Well, Children's Hospital needs your help getting something kids critically need during the summer months. It's not medicine or a medical device. It's cereal and a whole lot of cereal. As our Kim DiGiulio shows us, it's helping to bridge a gap when school gets out for the summer. As schools go on their summer break, unfortunately, that means hundreds of thousands of kids in Southeast Michigan will go all day without a meal. But there is a way that you can help, and it all starts with a box of cereal. The idea of a cereal drive came about 10 years ago when nurses at Children's Hospital of Michigan noticed a difference in some of the kids who would come in over the summer. They weren't healing as quickly and they decided to investigate and say, what, what is going on here? The problem was malnutrition. When kids are off of school, they're no longer getting a free or reduced meal for breakfast and lunch. That's how DMC got the idea to help feed these kids throughout the summer with cereal. Cereal. Um, is something that's non-perishable. It's easy to transport. You can have it with water. You can have it with milk. You can have it dry. In the first year of the cereal drive, they collected enough cereal to feed these hungry children for a week. Over the years, this program has had great growth. Last year, they were able to feed hungry children for two-thirds of the summer with about two million servings of cereal. So our big, huge goal this year is three million servings because we figured out if we could raise three million servings of cereal, we would be able to feed the kids in Southeast Michigan for the entire summer. Once all of the cereal is collected from the drive. Our nurses and our doctors and our staff, um, we load buses and we load trucks and we take it to Gleaners. Gleaners then distributes the cereal to their 500 food band partners across southeastern Michigan. You have from this Friday to June 7th to donate those boxes of cereal. You can drop them off at any of the participating locations or you can bring them to any Children's Hospital of Michigan location. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.